Uh, hello everyone, I'm uh, Dr. Ram Kumar. I'm one of the consultant pediatric neurologists at uh, Aldehaya work with Ian Hennessy. Um, I'm just dressed like this because I'm just rushing in. I have to rush back out again, duty calls and all that. Um, so what I'm talking about is actually something I could have done uh, electronically, uh, which is telemedicine, uh, but used for di delivering direct patient care. And this is something that the AHSN has been supporting us with. And the very specific use that I've been making is within the sector of uh, pediatric neurology for assessing children with neurological problems, acute and chronic problems, who often live a very large distance away from Liverpool and Alderhey. So um, if I had a map, I could show you the, the areas that we cover, but in essence, it covers from South Lakes, Isle of Man, Bangor to Stoke. Um, very much what I've been doing in this project, though, is guided by the equipment we have available, which is uh, telecarts placed at uh, Countess of Chester Hospital and Leighton Hospital in Crewe, where I've been able to conduct uh, remote clinics, uh, remote assessments from my uh, office in uh, Alderhey in Liverpool to uh, children and uh, the general pediatricians that we share the, the care of the children with uh, at uh, Crewe and, uh, and similar areas. And really, the, the issue is it's, it's about improving access to specialised healthcare. So uh, there's a lot of reconfiguration going on, uh, to put it politely, in the, uh, the NHS, which basically means services withdrawn from uh, outlying areas. And what that does for patients is you cannot actually access specialised care. What we try and do is to uh, provide that uh, the, the centralization that you need to, to provide a, a certain level of specialized care, but yet reach the parts that other services cannot reach, as it were. Um, so we've been doing this for something over just a, a year, and there's been challenges uh, as well as, um, as successes. So successes, I'd say, really come from the parents. Uh, we did, a, my wife's here, who did, um, uh, in her role, she did a evaluation, uh, tele qualitative interview with the parents to say, you know, how did you find this? And really, the, there was a lot of a number of themes came out, and the themes that came out is certainly for our parents, they're, they're very, they're, they're young. Uh, a lot of them haven't have not lived before a time of the internet or mobile phones, so they take it very much as part of routine access to everyday services that you should be able to. Uh, to have a remote assessment. Uh, another was the, the ability to deliver specialised care with low waiting times. So uh, if I had to see them face to face, our waiting times are approximately three to four months. Uh, I think probably just come in under 18 weeks, possibly. Um, but with the, the remote access, you know, remote visualisation, we can see them in a, a much shorter time. Uh, sometimes we are uh, twiddling our thumbs, waiting for work to come along. Um, and then the third theme, what's the third theme? I think the third theme was basically having access to a specialist. So often these children may go for several months, years, or never having seen a specialist. And what we are able to then provide is uh, to, to reach the hard to reach people, the, the ones who can't afford to travel. If you can't afford to travel five miles, you can't afford to travel 50 miles. So uh, th th these are the kind of findings. So um, I hope I can meet some people here who can uh, help with the, the infrastructure requirements because I think that's what we've found to be the biggest challenge. It makes, it, you know, it, it turns our communication channels into almost Victorian uh, capabilities needing the high definitions that are required for modern technology. Okay.